What is going on, everybody? I want to talk to you about painting competitions. This weekend, yesterday, we had the first miniature and model expo at Imperial Outpost Games in Arizona, and I won a bunch of third places and won second place. Uh, so they were giving away third place ribbons like nobody's business to me. And uh, that's all good. Uh, we did some entries. We only worked on one. I keep saying we, but it's just me. Uh, I only worked on uh, one entry specifically for this event, and that was my Blood Bowl team. It came in third. I entered my Scar brand, which has been featured on the GW Instagram page. Uh, that got second place in large fantasy model. And I entered my Necromunda team, which won at Adepticon and got a silver, or one of the models got a silver at LVO, but uh, they only got third in sci-fi unit. And I entered my Jason Voorhees bust. That got third in bust category, and non-historical bust, basically. And I entered my Death Watch Knight, which did not get anything. So... I want to just share with you 100% if you have the opportunity to go to LVO or maybe Adepticon or any convention or just participate in any model show, whether that be a uh, IPMS show or a local hobby store type painting show like we had, I uh, highly, highly encourage you to do so. Uh, the reason being the benefits for joining in a painting competition are all for you, right? You are going to spend your time focused on your model and your entry. And that's a good way to level up your painting skills. If you basically are painting an army, you might be getting burnt out. You might not be wanting to try anything new because you want your models to basically all match from first to last in an army wide project. But when you're painting for a competition or painting something to the best of your ability, the real winning is what you learn trying your hardest. And by that I mean like if you were edge highlighting a space marine and you were edge highlighting a space marine you were entering in a competition, you would probably level up your edge highlighting skills by doing the competition one because you're going to actually, you know, maybe try harder or go back and clean up slightly wiggly lines or whatever it is so i just wanted to say i highly encourage you to enter any painting competition um what i'm gonna be doing here on this channel is i want to be basically doing like google hangouts or uh some kind of facebook live not sure how to do it quite yet but where a big part of my week, I guess you could say, is I paint down at the local game store on Wednesdays and Fridays usually. And that's not because I, you know, need to. I have this whole setup here to paint at home. But I really do enjoy the atmosphere of painting with a group of people. So hopefully you would be interested in painting with a group of people if that's not something you normally do or don't feel comfortable with. You could join me and I would appreciate it and we could all just hang out and paint and of course you would be welcomed and you would be uh, you know encouraged to stop by so that would be cool when we get that going uh, so look forward to that once we figure out even how to do that and basically it would just be you know a group of people hanging out with some maybe webcams and just talking hobby or talking about whatever and that's kind of how we do it down at the game store. So I want to recreate that here for the channel. Hopefully we'll have that up and running in a few months or less if I can figure out how to do it. Uh, and that's about all I got, right? So if you see a painting competition coming up, take two weeks, take a month, pick something, try really hard. You will get better. People are going to recognize it. Uh, whether you win or lose, you already won by spending that time and effort on leveling up your own skills and you know a lot of people might not be that important to win a uh, golden demon for example 
I'm kind of on the fence. Like, of course, it would be awesome to have a golden demon, but I don't know if I have the desire to necessarily put that much effort into trying to win, but I probably will enter something in the Golden Demon's Grand Return to Adepticon. So uh, hopefully I get pumped up and get something ready to go. Um, and that's about it, right? Also, a uh, side note, you know, when you're painting your army, if you're playing in an event, uh, consider making your army list a few weeks early. Don't worry so much about maybe winning the event, but spend those few weeks doing some touch-ups and doing some extra little details on your army and that might help you win best painted army at the event which usually comes with some kind of store credit or some kind of prize so that's really great and it's a really great way to participate in like a tournament when you care more about the hobby than you do about say the game mechanics so that's all I got for you right now. Talk to you soon. We got a Patreon below. We got links to Amazon and eBay that help out the channel if you use them when you're shopping. Uh, we got big plans for a painting community, kind of hang painting hangouts, I guess, coming up. And we're shipping Kickstarters, man. We're just shipping tons of boxes for Kickstarter. And I don't know why I keep saying we. I say we because I think of you guys and maybe girls i think my audience is 100 percent male but uh, uh i think of you guys as my uh you know community here on youtube of course and hopefully you know we got kind of a painting community kind of a hobby opinion community so we're kind of doing this together hope you enjoy it talk to you soon